So one of the things that I'm always so taken aback by in these settings is just how little we know about nature in a very similar way, the medical frontier. There's still so many more discoveries to be made. There's still so much knowledge to acquire. I think scientists in general are motivated by what's on the other side of a frontier. It was not by accident that we set forward this vision that we knew was going to take as long as 10 to 20 years. We are now on the precipice of seeing that through. Now we're on the cusp really of, of what I think is one of our most promising and impactful drugs seeing its way potentially to physicians and patients, and that's our heart failure drug, omicamptive mocarbal. It's a project that went from an idea to clinical trials and patients and last year in the middle of a pandemic we reported out you know the results of an 8000 plus patient trial that met its primary endpoint that was exciting and ultimately that's what enables you to go to the next steps of now seeking a drug approval it's high risk high reward right because this is very risky and it takes many many years i think a lot more than most people are even aware of and I would think in the same way for me that it was a lot of that personal mission to help either a certain animal or a certain place, a certain habitat. On a personal note, my mom suffers from um, heart disease and she's had a triple bypass. Um, she's had stents put in and it's been a really long, difficult and many times super scary experience. Yeah. And just hearing you talk means a lot and like it offers a lot of hope. Uh, it's, you know, it's what uh, all this work has been leading to and, and ultimately it's tremendously rewarding and gratifying. That's what we're in this business for. You know, I'd get nowhere without a team of really smart, bright, dedicated people that have the fortitude to move things from the unknown into the more known. You're also, and perhaps unknowingly, really paving the way, not just in the medical front, but also for a future generation of researchers. You know, much like you would be doing in a quest or an expedition, we're pioneering, but we're setting an example for people that may follow. And I think at Cytokinetics, we take a lot of pride in that. We focus to an area of biology that we believe has great potential. It's going to require the very best of our perseverance and persistence, our fortitude. But in the same way that our potential medicines are enhancing muscle function for patients whose diseases are linked to muscle weakness, that too plays into strategies for improving healthy aging so that people who maybe are elderly and becoming more weak or frail Imagine if we have new products that can increase their muscle force and power, extend their stamina or their endurance, enabling them to live happier, longer, more functional lives. And I think when you have that kind of opportunity, it's really motivating and inspiring for our scientists to be able to keep doing what they do.